Welcome back friends, Matt with Eddie's Guitar is coming to you as always from St. Louis, Missouri. And I am extra stoked about the guitar I've got to show you folks today. Just a really, really nice piece today. This comes from one of my personal favorite builders. This is a Kevin Cop out of Bozeman, Montana. This is a specially commissioned 0042 uh, that we worked very closely with Kevin to uh, choose all the right woods and the right specifications. Uh, the results are incredible. We were really blown away uh, when we finally received this guitar. Just a magnificent looking and sounding piece here. Uh, Kevin Kopp is mostly uh, known for his more vintage style, Gibson style builds that he does. And he does a great job with those. And a year or so ago, uh, I requested a couple more sort of Martin-esque style guitars, OMs and Dreadnoughts. And Kevin was gladly up to the challenge. And since then, I've ordered several uh, more Martin-esque style guitars, and we've just been really floored by every single one of them. This is no exception. In fact, this is one of my favorites I've received from them yet, so great sounding guitar. You can see that we started here with a beautiful Italian spruce top, and it's got just a super tight grain and a nice creamy color to it as well. Just a great set of European spruce here. You can see that the body, the neck, and the headstock are all bound in a very traditional grained ivory. And then in 42 fashion, you can see the abalone top border going all the way around the top of the guitar, going around the fingerboard extension here, and there's also an abalone rosette going right around the sound hole. So some great, very colorful uh, pearl inlay work there. Back and sides of this guitar are simply a magnificent set of Brazilian rosewood. Just an awesome set of wood here. Super, super defined grain to it and just a very clear uh, color and uh, clear look to this back set. Uh, impressive stuff indeed and you can see a nice kind of colorful mosaic style back strip going right down the center of the back there, kind of tying everything together. This does have the, um, a very soft V-profile neck, and it's kind of a medium size. It's not enormous. It definitely is not a more modern style neck either, though. It's kind of a medium size, kind of vintage feeling neck. Very nice. It's a one and three quarter nut. We've got the wide two and five sixteenths spacing down here at the bridge. So perfect little finger style machine in that regard. All the way up on the headstock, you can see a perfectly black ebony headstock veneer. And in the center, you can see a very handsome torch inlay, all in abalone. And all the way up top, you can see the abalone cop logo. Really, really neat. Uh, it's got the gold Waverly tuning machines with black ebony buttons tying in with the uh, black headstock, the ebony fingerboard, as well as the ebony bridge here. And uh, of course, we have the 42 style snowflakes going down the fingerboard itself. Uh, so just kind of a continuation of that 42 style across the entire guitar. Of course, this is a uh, Adirondack braced guitar with hide glue construction. Uh, Kevin braces his guitars exceptionally well. He gives them some very nice headroom, but excellent responsiveness. Um, he has a way of bracing and voicing his guitars that they just have no tightness. Even as a brand new guitar, they are not tight feeling nor tight sounding guitars, which is really impressive to, uh, to both hear and really actually feel. Uh, so you don't feel like you're being restricted or the guitar is too tightly wound. It's kind of a nice uh, feature uh, that he sort of builds into his guitar. So very impressive. Uh, I really love this one. Happily go take a listen to it.